Hey everybody, it's Phil here and you're watching STV Sydney Trains Vlogs. I'm currently at Central Sydney Terminal, Monday the 13th of March 2023. Over on Platform 1 we have Waratah Set A73, um, which has been sitting here since uh, Saturday afternoon. This is the Waratah um, that was pretty much tangled up, literally, in the incident at Panania. Um, on Friday, uh, the, yeah, Friday just gone, um, overhead wiring had damaged the, uh, driver's windscreen on D6373 at the other end, and, um, also, uh, the, one of the roof hatches are missing on one of the trailer cars, the trailer cars being one of the middle two cars, so, um, just going to walk down to the other end of the train on this side. And then, uh, to, yeah, just show from a distance, and then we'll have a look on the platform side. Um, but uh, SSR locomotive G513 ended up bringing this train in here, um, effectively dumping it on platform one, um, but it's not as not as trashy as it sounds. Um, I guess they just really needed this Waratah out of the way so they can start fixing the issue, getting trains back uh, running on time, which they are now, uh, which is good. Uh, but I but I dare say that this Waratah will be loco hauled out of here at some point, maybe later today, um, or when possible. Now, I don't think you'll be able to see where the roof hatch or, or module cover is missing from this side, but I'll definitely show you um, once we get to the other side. But I think the video about the delays was um, two videos back because the last one was about the um, D28 and 128 transfer and uh, South Coast exploration, I guess. <laughs> you got the module cover actually sitting inside one of the cars as well. Oh, uh, yeah, so just looking. Alright, the module cover is missing um, on car. D, that's D, T6573. So you can just see right up here where it's missing up there, but we'll have a proper look. And we'll get to the other side of the train. It is all good. Central Sydney Terminal does have, at the moment, um, more than enough platforms to uh, to handle the trains. with this Waratah taking up one of them. Even more so when platforms 13 and 14 open. Which, not too sure how long that'll be, but... All right, give me a second. We'll get a closer look at this shattered windscreen from the other side. Yes, see it there. All right, we'll see you on the other side. We'll do, do another walk down the train and I'll point out this, this area with the missing roof hatch cover thing. <laughs> roof hatch cover, the uh, module cover. And, um, and then, then look at this shattered windscreen a bit closer. And then I'll go get coffee. <laughs> so I gotta go to work. My bus is in about 35 minutes or so. <laughs> It'd be pretty awkward if that was actually true. Or it'll be more damaged than it actually is, that's for sure.
might be able to see the module cover laying on the ground in the vestibule. Um, not too sure. It's pretty dark. It was a lot easier to see when it was daytime, <laughs> which is usually is, you know. But, yeah. in here I think. Nope. That might be the next vestibule. Oh yeah. It's sitting there. You can just see it. 6673. You can just see it. But the cover belongs to 6573. a bit of a look at this shattered glass and then I don't finish this video up and then I'll head head down to grab a coffee which I probably should have done first but that's okay got an explorer coming in that is uh, for Broken Hill it usually comes into platform one, but it's platform two today. So you can see that's where the overhead, like, yeah, that was impact for the overhead wires. Not only the weight of the overhead wires, I guess, I don't know, maybe the voltage going through them could have had something to do with, uh, with the shattering as well. And the overhead wiring would have been the thing that damaged the, uh, possibly damaged the, um, the module cover as well. But yeah, anyway, um, Still, the trip from Panania to here, the shards of glass on the buffer plate, I guess you could say, remains in place. This is what I'm doing. All right. Anyway, don't know if there's any sort of internal electrical problems necessarily. Oh, you can actually see. I don't know if it's a reflection, but you can actually sort of see maybe the. Um, Desto could be cracked as well, unless it's just a reflection of the cracks in the um, in the glass, sort of protecting the the thing, <laughs> the Desto. But anyway, um, I don't know. New windscreen, new module cover, which I'm sure that they'd have quite a few spares. Um, probably see a 73 back in service, not too long wait and see you never know sometimes sometimes you can have an incident with a train and you don't really you could think maybe damage just, there is no damage you know not much damage and next thing you don't see it for months because the damage was actually a lot worse than you could see or you could have um an incident where you know there is um a lot of damage but it's not as bad as may look but anyway thank you for watching please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to sydney trains vlogs and we'll catch you soon bye